two hands on the handle, okay? Mm -hmm. Now we have to work together. So when you push, I pull, and when I push, you pull, okay? Now when I say go, I want you to push first. And I want you to push towards me about eight to 12 inches, and when you pull it back, you pull it back slightly past your waist, okay? Are you ready? Now we gotta work together, Dylan. Okay, go ahead and go. Saw, do the saw. And all we got to do is move the saw back and forth. Okay, Jenny, that's good. Thank you. Have a seat. Okay, we just demonstrated, Dylan and I demonstrated how to use a two-man crosscut saw. And if you notice, we had to work together. If our timing was off, then the saw would bend a little bit. So it's very, very important that you work together as a team on this. Now, Dylan, how long would it take you and I to cut completely through that log? Hours. How many hours? About three or so. Three okay. hours. Okay. Does everybody think that's reasonable, three hours? Okay, we're going to go with the estimate of three. There is no wrong answer here because the species of the log, the size of the log, how sharp the instrument is, the skill of the people using that instrument, and how well we work together as a team. Those factors all uh, um, affect how quick it takes to, to cut the log. Now, Dylan, if you notice, both ends of the logs have been cut, correct? Mm -hmm. So if it takes us three hours to cut through one end, and we have to cut through two ends, how many hours to cut both ends? Six. Six hours. Six hours to cut one log, okay? Now I need your all's assistance here. I need you all to look across the road at this log cabin over here. Now I would like for you to count the number of logs on this side from the rock foundation up to the roof. Eight. I heard the number eight, okay? So we're going to go with eight logs in the side of that cabin, okay? Now Dylan says it's going to take he and I six hours to cut one log, okay? Now there's eight logs on the side of that cabin. So six times eight is 48. So it's going to take Dylan and I 48 hours to cut the uh, logs on one side of that. Now 48, we're going to come, that's in hours. We're going to convert that to days, okay? Today's standard, they go by an eight hour day. In the pioneer times, they would work from sun up to sundown. So it could be anywhere from eight hours to 12 hours a day. But for mathematical purposes, we're gonna uh, consider eight hours to be one day. So we said 48 hours, and we're gonna divide that by eight to convert that to days. So 48 divided by eight, six, did I hear the number six? Okay, six days. Now, I want you to look at the cabin again, and tell me, how many sides are on the cabin? Four. four. We have only calculated for one side, so we need to multiply that by four. So six times four is 24. Jake, can you remember the number 24? Now, it's going to take Dylan and I 24 days to cut the logs to build this cap. Okay? So you need to remember that. Now, once the logs are cut, then we have to move the logs to where we're going to build the cabin. Now, do you remember what a cabin maker's best friend is? Oh. This is my example of a log dog. Now, the one in the museum had chains. Mine is solid metal, but it serves the same purpose. Do we have any athletes here? Any other? What's your name? What? Trooper. Trooper? Come on down here. Trooper. Trooper. Come on, Trooper. Do we have any other athletes? What's your name? 